Hey, this is the Credible Hawkwind. And apparently, today, gaming disorder officially recognized as a disease by the World Health Organization. Isn't that just dandy? Well, I'm going to read you what they said, then I'll give you my opinion on it. I'm getting this article from PC Gaming. I'll leave the link down below. So here we go. The World Health Organization proposed that gaming disorder be classified as an addictive behavior in December 2017. Then they nailed down the definition with a complete with separate online and offline categories in June 2018. The WHO will make its final decision whether to classify gaming as an addiction disorder at the 72nd World Health Organization Assembly, which is currently underway. Well, they've already decided that it is a disease. Apparently, a disability, something. Some of the things they go over is impaired control over gaming. Example, onset frequency, intensity, duration, termination, context, increasing the priority given to gaming over extent, gaming takes precedence over life interests and daily activities. Well, I guess a lot of streamers have this disability or disease. Continue or escalation of gaming despite the occurrence of negative consequences. Behavior pattern is significant severity to result in impairment in personal, family, social, blah, blah, blah. Same crap as before. But yeah, they keep going on how they're going to go the gaming behavior and other features over a 12 month period. Uh, diagnose to assign all through required duration may be shortened if all diagnostic requirements are met and symptoms are severe. Well, I know a lot of parents that don't care and just leave the console as a babysitter half the time, so yay. You know what my parents did if I was gaming too much, me and my brother? They would take the damn thing away and not give it to us for like a month. Learn the parent. Of course, this might be a bigger issue with people that can't control their kids or their adults and they do this anyways. Other note, the gaming industry bodies, including the ESA, the IGA, these are all European by the most of it, have pushed back against efforts categorizing gaming as an addiction disorder. Loving games is not a mental health problem. Making games is your hobby of choice is not a disorder, the IGA said in June 2018. The WHO creation of gaming disorder has potential to do significant and serious harm to people who use games as a coping me mechanic for anxiety, depression, stress, and encourage doctors to address these symptoms but not the underlying illness. Oh yeah. I know tons of people that use gaming over drugs, which in my opinion, slightly better. Not the best solution, but... Better than doing illegal drugs and crap. Unless you're in Canada, where I am. Weed is legal. Yay for that. Uh, the Variety reported states that if the WHO does not recognize gaming addiction as a disorder, members will states will be given until 2022 in to introduce treatments and preventative measures. The UK National Health Service has already taken steps in the direction, opening its first publicly funded internet addiction clinic. What, they're going to allow you to go in, play for 10 minutes, and tell you to leave? Yeah. I see this going badly. Very quickly. There will be people that will be like, hey, take these drugs to fix your gaming disorder. Or be just like, hey, my kid has a gaming disorder. Now I have a reason not to let them have consoles or anything. And they control them more. Then again, if you're a parent and your kid's playing too many video games, you should probably take away the console. Make them do something else for a bit. But I see this going downhill one way or the other. 
I can see people trying to get disability just because they have a gaming disorder. But that's my opinion. This is also my first news video. Any comments, critiques, or if you just want to spew hate against me, be my guest. That's what the comic section's for. I live for the hate. I'm the Credible Hawkman. Subscribe if you want to, and have a good day.